we basically wanted to correct some of the things that were happening with the older row unit. We hadn't done a design refresh really since 2008 or 2009, and it was time. And we said, okay, we want to take a big pass. We've, we've as a company, built this really strong competency around automatic control, and we had this clear sense that one of the fundamental design issues around you know a, a rolling contact strip till unit like this one was in fact down pressure management because um, you know a, a knife type strip till unit will kind of you know apply lower down pressure it'll suck itself into the ground and um, uh, a Coulter unit, especially as we know, we wanted to run deeper, right? So the previous generation units would run in that kind of four, four and a half inch area. We wanted to kind of close the gap between um, the knife type strip tool units. And this newer row unit has bigger disc blades and it runs six and a half inches deep in the ground. And the, the problem as you do that is you're in fact amplifying the changes in down pressure between harder and soft soil as you, as you go deeper and deeper. So if, if we want to, um, obviously spring strip till is a, a big focus for us in the kind of niche where we are, that adding the automatic down pressure control to the row unit is this massive technical move forward where, you know, there's, um, a sensor right here that actually measures the amount of force on the gauge wheels like a planter. And then we're setting a very, very low uh, amount of force on the gauge wheels and saying, hey, just keep enough pressure on it so that, it's, so that it's got the gauge wheels on the ground and we're making that same kind of cross section of the strip. You know, this, this unit will make a wider strip and a deeper strip than the previous generation row unit. And we wanna maintain that exact same cross section. So that, that kind of home that you're planting the the seed into is exactly the same size for every single plant and so you you know in the past what would happen is you'd, you'd pull out into the field and you'd kind of set the down pressure you, you you know in the headlands you have to set the down pressure around the hardest spot in the field because you have to get in the ground and then you go up over hill you go into a low spot a wet spot and all of a sudden like you know it buries it and and you're fighting mud management things like that so we just kind of systematically looked at every single design detail all the way across the unit from you have the uh, completely redesigned hubs with larger bearings, you're, su you're supporting the hubs from both sides in the front, you have remote control uh, with a hydraulic control on the row cleaner so it has a spring up and hydraulic down and you can just be looking back through the back window and adjusting the row cleaner on the go. Um, the down pressure system itself is the same system used on the, the John Deere planters, um, so there's some kind of commonality there. The entire row unit is four inches narrower than it had been in the past. And that was another thing too. When you look at really um, heavy corn stalks in the fall, it's the, the stalks are almost like a fluid and, and the area between the rows is like an orifice and you're trying to channel this material through this orifice. And so what we wanted to do was kind of open up a bigger area. And so you have eight inches more room between the rows uh, than you had before. And you have these equalizer gauge wheels too, so that it's like a planter where the wheels can go up and down and regardless of how the toolbar is pitched this way, you're gonna have the same contact um, on them. So it's, it's really, uh, for me, it, it's really satisfying to stick with an idea and just go detail by detail by detail by detail through it. The, the kind of trend around freshening, strip freshening, I really don't like that word because it's like, to me it's actually saying, okay, we're gonna limit the scope of use of this one product when, when here you have a unit that you can go into hard ground in the fall, use it in multi-use and also kind of clean up a strip um, made by another device. You'll, people have been started using this device to say if you had like a manure injector or something that you're, you're using that, that doesn't really leave a very plantable seed bed that you can kind of clean up and fix um, the seed beds from other types of problems. I mean, I think we're kind of setting the bar in terms of spring strip till. So we, we see the growth in spring strip till, the better we do, the better spring st strip till will do. The, the more we can create a seamless user experience for our customers and they can put it in the, go to the field and set it in the ground and pull and just like have very minimal friction associated with using the product. That's the whole thing. Then, then we'll do better with spring strip till. And, and, and the automatic down pressure control is obviously like a, a huge part of that, so.